Hi everyone, welcome back to The Tiny Herd where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today I had a day off so I thought I would take you guys along with me as I do some things to get caught up with the pets and go through our daily routine. So you can see the bunnies are out and ready for their morning breakfast pellets. So let's go ahead and go into the pet room and get started with our day. So you can see that the pet room is currently a bit of a mess. It's been about a week since I've done a good vacuum and clean cages and all of that. So today we're going to be catching up on some of that stuff. I'm going to be cleaning cages, cleaning up the floor, vacuuming, just doing some general maintenance and cleanup in this room, as well as our normal daily routine with the pets and showing you some specific things that I want to get caught up on. So the first thing I do every single morning is start off by getting the bunnies their pellets so that they're not under my feet the whole time. They are currently eating the Oxbow Garden Select Adult Rabbit Pellets and they each get one quarter cup scoop per dish, so that's a quarter cup per rabbit. Once I'm done getting the bunnies their breakfast, I get pellets for all of the guinea pigs. The girls and Johnny and June eat the Sherwood Pet Health Adult Timothy pellets right now, but we are working on switching them to the Oxbow Garden Select as well. Jellybean and Georgie already eat the Oxbow pellets, so I would really like to just transition everyone onto the same food. All of the guinea pigs get an eighth of a cup per pig per day, so that equals a quarter cup scoop per cage because I have all pairs of piggies. Once all the guinea pigs and the bunnies have been fed, I come out into our front room so that I can feed the little mousy. I haven't been able to get some very good footage of Snickers in the past, so this was a great opportunity to let you guys get a closer look at her. She is a fantastic, sweet little mouse, and I absolutely love interacting with her and getting to just watch her and see what she's up to. So I will be feeding her here in a second that you will get to see, but you can probably tell she is a little bit on the fat side. From talking to my vet and doing some research, she is a brindle breed, so that's like her coloring, and they tend to be a little more likely to get fat. I also don't necessarily feed the, her the healthiest food, but this is much better than what she was getting in foster care and at her previous home, so the vet was pretty confident that this is okay to be feeding her. It's healthier than what she previously got, and I think she put on a little weight finally getting a little bit more balanced of a diet. Then I also make sure that her water bottle is working because this one tends to get stuck a little bit, so I check it a couple times a day. And then I just let her go about her little normal mousy behavior. I do also normally tidy up a little bit, but I generally do that in the evening, so you guys might see that later on in this video. Next, I am just going around and making sure all of the pets have hay and water. Everybody had water this day because I had refilled everyone the night before when I spot cleaned, but I did go around and make sure everybody had plenty of hay for the day. So 
So next I'm just putting away some of the clean laundry we had ready. I like to stay on top of this just so that we're not super behind on laundry, especially because you will see I am also cleaning cages today, so I wanted to make sure I had everything available so I wasn't missing anything that I needed just because I hadn't put it away. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to jump into fully cleaning cages today. You guys will get to see that and vacuuming and all of that. I finally brought the plastic back in to put in Jelly Bean and Georgie's cage. I don't really know why I didn't put the plastic in when I rearranged and built the cages for um, the pears, but it was super annoying to not have the plastic because Jelly Bean and Georgie, when they chase each other around and play, they kick their poop out the side of their cage and it was always all over my table. So I am super glad to have the plastic back in their cage. So I think this is the first look you guys have gotten of the new setup in the pet room now that we have Jellybean and Georgie and since losing Bell Pig. So we do now have three 2x5, pretty much 2x5 size CNC cages. One has Johnny and June, one has Callie and Lily, and then one has Jellybean and Georgie. And then Jellybean and Georgie's has the loft on it, which is not quite a 2x2. Two two. So those are the setups. I really like having the two along the one wall because they're really easy to clean and it's really easy to have hay on either side of the divider. So I'm really liking this setup so far and then having the more open space in front of the window to let a little more light in. So this is just working out really great.
So I did want to answer a couple of questions in this video that I get a lot on my cage cleans. So I fully clean cages. So what I'm doing in this video, changing out the liners and everything. I do that once a week, usually on Saturdays. Um, Saturday mornings is kind of like my pet room cleaning day. And then I spot clean and change out smaller pads if they're wet or need to be changed on a daily basis. So spot cleaning happens every day, full clean happens once a week, and I wash my liners in the washing machine. That is one of the best things about using fleece is it's reusable and I'm not buying bedding all of the time. I do clean the bunny's litter box every other day and I just do that whenever I'm doing my normal spot cleaning in the evenings. And that is really the whole process of maintenance on cages in litter box. Other than that, I vacuum kind of every couple days if it's getting bad or once a week overall if hay is not getting everywhere though hay is usually getting everywhere. So I kind of just keep up on the rest of the floor maintenance and kind of sweeping up the hay kind of as needed. And then of course I do a big vacuum when I clean cages. But other than that, everything's ad ne as needed other than spot cleaning and cage cleans. I did want to mention here, I do always wash my hands as well whenever I'm switching between doing something with the guinea pigs and the bunnies just to be sure I'm not passing anything between them because there are certain things that can be passed from bunnies to guinea pigs. So I just wanted to mention that I don't show it on camera but I do wash my hands pretty often in this process. Right, guys that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed getting to see this little routine of one of my days off thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i post new videos every friday thank you again so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye